Hello everybody, this is the Boo Review. Uh, today we're going to be talking about dragons, and we got ten of them. Uh, this was suggested by Patreon supporter Blair Holly. Now I know these are hard to believe, but you know, stranger things have happened. <laughs> oh yeah, and this is not in any order. We aren't, we're not ranking these. In okay, no so. particular order, because they're all just as good. And ranking <laughs> makes people feel less about themselves. <laughs> first we're going to be talking about some dead dragons. This first one, uh, they said they found this uh, dragon in Tibet. It looks pretty good. It looks uh, pretty amazing at first. Uh, I thought the face looked kind of fake. Uh, this is a sculpture created for a show called Quarto Millennio. Is that how you say that? Anyway, it's supposed to be like a fake documentary. Uh, and it aired in Spain or Mexico. One of the Spanish-speaking places. Right. A Draco out of seven. This is the dragon off of a dragon art. <laughs> I give this dragon a Malago side of seven. For the tragic story, this dragon literally fell and succumbed to madness and magic. <coughs> he had to be put down and petrified and preserved. Mm. Just like Malagos. Like Han Solo. Like Malagos. On to the other dead dragon. Uh, this one was a uh, chi uh, Chinese looking dragon. There is news out of Inner Mongolia of another dragon sighting. I mean, I shouldn't say dragon sighting. It's more of a somebody actually caught a real dragon. According to the Epic Times newspaper, on the morning of June 18th, fisherman Arlong Wang from the city of Yurad Qianqi, while fishing in the Wuliang Suhai, a freshwater lake, captured a real dragon. There was another video where the hoaxers were trying to show this video and for some reason they put up an image of it being created and uh, we'll show it right here uh which is very strange but anyway yeah this one's fake uh, but he's so cool yeah look at his whiskers what i rate this one a falcor a seven what the uh, f is a falcor falcor is from never ending story i don't think i like the never ending story i love the never ending story what kind of monster are you i'm gonna give this a never beast out of seven all right next one from <laughs> tinkerbell <laughs> Next one, these are some ones, these are I'm some- I'm even wearing my dragon shirt. These are some Adobe dragons we got coming up. First, uh, there's this one. This one has a frame skip, <laughs> as you can see, like right there. You mean this majestic beast? Also, for some reason, the camera decides to look down at the sidewalk. So it could fly away. I'm going to give this one an aspect of life. I give this one a dragon force out of seven. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> well, that's pretty high. You gave it dragon force. I gave it. I don't think Strava? it's that high. I don't know. Sure, I'm, I'm a big fan of dragon force, but from what I've heard, I like it. Okay, <laughs> that's how I feel about this video. You can just walk into a crowded street of cars. They're <laughs> moving fast. Is dragon force really that great? Did you hear the question you just asked? Next Adobe dragon is this clapping dragon. I guess I would give it a gaping dragon out of seven. That's the one from uh, Dark Souls. Yeah, the one that I told you about. Yeah, I stole it from AJ. <laughs> I'm not sure what the correlation is between him clapping and it being a gaping dragon other than he's, gonna, he likes he's to making see the that. international symbol of gaping. No, no dude, he likes <laughs> he likes to see that booty clap and whenever uh, it claps okay. open, it gapes. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I'm going to give him a Neltharian slash Deathwing. All right, on to some real animals here that have been mistaken for dragons. This first one, man, was impressive. I was These ready to real dragons it. masquerading as average ass animals. That's right, exactly correct. What's happening. Continue. Okay. <laughs> Some people say it's a uh, tawny, uh, what do they call it? Tawny frogmouth owl. It's a uh, night, night jar. jar. Yes. Uh, as you can see, the comparison. These things got some. Some I should name this one the Gaping Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. What did I name? What did I, what did I, I think I gave this a Daenerys Targaryen. That's kind of. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What'd you say you're gonna give it? Uh, a, uh, a Viserys. Viserys. He's the dragon. <laughs> All right. He's gonna get a crown of gold. He's gonna cross the narrow sea. Mm. He's gonna take a band of wild horsemen on a boat with him, and he's gonna take over the Red King, the the King's Landing. You act like you haven't gotten past season one. <laughs> 
You can't spoil it for other people. That's true. That's true. Okay. Anyway, and this next one. Oh, this, praise Viserys, the true king. This next one is a uh, penis salamander. <laughs> Sorry. It's a penis dragon. It's an arm salamander. <laughs> and this one, this is, a, is about as close as a dragon as you can get. It has the small arms. It's got a long body. It's got a big old head. This, it, this is a dragon. I give this one a Mushu out of seven. This is a very traditional Chinese dragon. Hmm. More like a Eddie Murphy out of seven. <laughs> I see where you're going with this. Mm -hmm. I give it a Pluto Nash out of seven. A Pluto Nash out of seven. These are... Uh, I'm gonna call them artifact dragons. Uh, they're very artifacty. <laughs> That's because they're so ancient that it shows whenever you capture them on video, it can't help but capture the ancient nature, the powerful nature, everything that they've been through, thousands of years, all encompassed in one being. They're living artifacts of the world. This first one, this uh, this little uh, this dragon moving through the clouds, I'm giving it a puff the magic dragon. Uh, the second one with the the the, the double double dragons, I'm yes. gonna give it a double dragon out of seven. Okay, so you know about the after effects, the the you know I do the editing, you do the effects. What is the how are they doing this? How are they moving it through the clouds? Do you have an idea? Magic. No, but there's a spider over there. You just you said that the other day. <laughs> but there is one. Is that a spider? It might it's be a big. It might be a big <laughs> fucking ant. <laughs> That's a spider. Did you see the way he bowed up at me? Anyway. He's clearly aggressive. Yeah, he's clearly going to take you out tonight. What would you give the artifact dragons? Genji and Hanzo. Genji and Hanzo. Genji and Hanzo. We're moving on to the most authentic uh, dragons that we have uh, seen. That's not and a dragon, Nathan. <clears throat> That's a snake. It looks like one. <laughs> that is cop. You're going to get us copyrighted by Disney, just like Critical did. Uh, he did get copyrighted by Disney, because Disney is a, is a fucker. <laughs> We just got sued. <laughs> they will not sue me. AJ sued. <laughs> <laughs> this first one right here, now, it might scare you a little bit, but it takes place in the snow. Um, just give it a watch. I'm on the brink of discovering something unbelievable. It's large, it's green, and it roams the forests of Northern Ontario. It's incredible. I got survive out here. We're not with the, we're not with the, no! What's that? Hey, I'm gonna eat you now. No! Oh. Now I hope that after you guys watch that, that you're okay. I realize that was very scary. I'm gonna give this one a Pete's Dragon out of seven, uh, which is, El his name's Elliot, Elliot out of seven. I don't know, I don't usually deal in goofy dragons. I don't know what to give this one. Let me consider. Oh God! Isn't there a dragon in uh, the Sword in the Stone? Mad Madam Mad Madam M turns into a dragon. How good is that dragon? She's hilarious. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sword in the Stone dragon. That's what this one gets. Okay. This one right here. It's the uh, we've covered this guy's videos before. Well, actually, just one video. It's a very authentic reindeer. He comes out with a very very authentic looking dragon. I'm going to give this one a Spyro out of uh, seven. Actually, this video kind of sucks. It takes a while for this dragon to show up. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching a video... Oh, I hate to ruin this guy's channel, but if you're watching a video and it says Couch Potato Theater, just know it's going to be funny. I'm going to give it a Crash Bandicoot, the natural predator of Spyro the Dragon. You say the natural predator of the video game world. <laughs> <laughs> Buy uh, Skylanders Imaginators. Activision, give us money. <laughs> so there you go, guys. We just covered... 10 dragons for you. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to get some shit because it's not paranormal, but dragons are awesome. And uh, we thought you would enjoy something a little bit different. We got something else that's coming up too. Dinosaurs. And I'm going to mm. argue that they are paranormal and they didn't exist. Well, dragons are definitely abnormal and dinosaurs don't exist now. So if they, if they, I'm going to say right they now, never did. Oh, wow. You got 15 seconds to say what you want to say about Bigfoot. It'd be a great opportunity to have a Bigfoot video where we just tear him down some more. And you know what? We thank you for watching us. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Share it to everybody you know. Who's that supposed to be? Oh, that's just you. That's just me. <laughs> okay. <laughs>